respect to the fact that you love the house and you grew up in it, is it still the place that you, you feel that you need to be putting your future dollars? Because our job is really to help people look down the road, right? Yeah. It's to look at their future and see, am I doing something today that seems smart because of an emotional attachment that's really just... Yeah, and I mean, I try to tell them, you know, there's the emotional side of it, but if you can try to turn that off just for a little while and look at the black and white numbers of it, which is hard to do. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm a mom. I've I've got the emotional side, too. Um, But look at the numbers and decide, you know, do the numbers make sense? Am I that emotionally attached to, you know, how I'm feeling about this, that it's okay that it costs me $250,000? that maybe I would have for retirement if I did something different or, you know what I mean? And if, if that's the answer for you, then that's the right decision for you. But I think if, if people can separate their emotions from the actual financial numbers of it and then make the decision about whether or not the emotional side has that much value to them, I think that's a good way to approach making a decision. And that's what the homeowner assessment and action plan does. It provides them a chance to take a look at all the pitfalls evaluate for themselves for their unique circumstance is this the right move for me and if it makes sense in this particular uh, seller's scenario it made sense they move forward with a short sale we're able to get it done successfully and now they're able to move on and take extra money that they have and use it towards savings and making a better life for themselves and their family